Hi guys, in this video we will develop a movie search application through Angular new input and output signal properties. As we saw in the diagram, we have two components. One is the parent that is called search movie. Another one we have the movie list. Search movie component will search the movie. We will pass the search term to the child component. Child component filtered their list. Whatever the parent will be passed through the normal input property, child will be filtered. Later on, this example we will convert into the input signal property and and last finally we'll see if I selected a movie how the child will send data to the parent component through the output property and that we will improve through the signal so we are passing parent to the child to the search term according to whatever we type it over here on the basis of that we will filter this movie for example suppose I'm typing over here the dark knight it will filter it and if I removing it also it will come actually original one so we are passing this search term from parent to the child one. So this is already made into normal angular input property. Now we need to convert this simple property to signal input property. Let's go through the code guys. This application I made on angular 80. This is app component and these all are the standalone only. Over here I'm using the search component. Here I have one selector that is search input. Search input is exactly search component have only one input. This is through the ng model we are two-way data binding in this variable we will receive the string and this string we are passing to the movie list component so this search term we will pass as an input property to the movie list here we will receive the input property we have movie and filtered movie because we need to maintain the original data so again we will remove that filtered or search term then we need to get back the original data on ng init we are receiving the movies and i am actually assigning these movies to the movies variable and filtered movie variable whenever any search term will be changed on ng change we are receiving the data and we filtering from the movie and assign to the filtered movie finally this variable filtered movie here we are displaying through the normal for loop okay and this is the title and the year we are displaying it over here here we are filtering one by one movies we will get it from the title we are converting lowercase we are checking whatever the search term include only the movie should be filtered into filtered movie so as we know any input property change we can receive ng on change or we can make the input setter also over here right so generally we have lifecycle hook mostly we'll do this one or if we have something through the setter also we can do over here also both the we can do you know that lifecycle hook actually some time is not recommendation so now we need to do same thing one more thing i made it actually movie service in this movie service i have the dummy data this dummy data i'm getting it through the observable i'm just simulate the http observable so this data i'm passing over here in rxjs off operator movies and this data we are reading over here on ngonet so now this is our parent one and this is our child one okay so we have two component now we need to be pass the data between them through the signal definitely and one good thing is actually we have one service also so in the service first we will make a signal so get movie signal so to differentiate i'm just writing down signal and we'll write down signal inside it we will this is our initial property initialization of the signal we can see so this signal we need to call into movie list in the movie list component we'll make a filtered movie signal signal equal computed and it will run on that particular signal so computed will be give me the value all the movies whatever the movie stored into the movie service so in the computed we will use the signal and signal of movie service this one over here we'll write down movie service dot this is signal and this signal value will get it here we'll filter it and one by one movie we'll get that is correct we'll write down the title dot includes includes is the property that we want to filter it so let me wrap it and simply we'll say this dot search from and we'll use it over here that's it so now this computed i need to be import that is a part of angular now over here we'll get data and this data i need to be use it over here as a signal right so this is a computer signal and this signal is dependent upon this signal if this signal value will change so automatically this signal value also notified right so now we don't need to require this one because we are not using anymore we are not using any filtered movies right and even the movie is also not using it also let me comment it all these things this one this one 
and even this one is not required and definitely if I don't require all these things so I don't need to require this one also for reference purpose I'm putting it over here that's it so our movie should be work as it is let's see on the browser yes we are getting the movie and that is correct but here the catch is if I type it over here because when I will change my input property this won't be notified it will only notified when the signal will be changed so this input property won't work over here so I need to convert this normal input property to input signal see how even we don't require this one so we'll write down over here this is very well i need to use it because we are passing this input name so over here we'll write down input and this is small letter guys remember this one here initial value is the blank and i need to import it also in angular core and here now it will become signal and this is the value of the signal now let's save it and test it again now if we are typing the no, it's not working. Why it is not working? And if I type it, this is working. Because now we are not checking case. So to checking the case, we can do one more thing. We can write down transform functions. Here value is coming as a part of string. So we'll write down string over here. Whatever the value it will come, we will just simply convert into to lowercase. Right? And same thing, this is the title also. We need to convert lowercase. So we'll match to lowercase to lowercase. Okay. Let's test it again. We go, we write down small letter. This is working. We write down capital letter. This is working. Right? So, this is the way it can work it also. So, now this input property is signal property. One more feature, guys, in input property. Suppose on the parent functions, this one, I'm not passing this one. And I want it should be required. So, I will write down required and I can remove the default value. So, now it's required. So, now we need to pass it. Otherwise, it will give the error over here. So, here I need to pass it also. Same thing earlier we have in the input property also. Input property also we can make required also. But now in input signal also we can make required like a way. Okay. As we know that input property name also we can change it. Means we can give the different name as the different aliases also. Suppose over here I am just writing down search input. Now this input property should receive the search input. So we can write down alias over here like a way and this property now test this one also now my program is still working right so these are the feature of the input properties and we know that input property directly we can use it into html also so suppose i need to be get the length i can directly use it over here on html also so when we will print it we can see the zero but when we will search it so how many character i type it according to that i will get it over here in search term so why we should use the signal input property input signal are more type safe guys required input don't require initial value or trick to tell type script that input always has a value so, so how we are writing down we are writing down exclamation sign so now in input we need to be give some initial value always this transfer function are automatically checked to match expected input value. signal input when using inputs will automatically mark on push component as a dirty also value can easily drive when is input change using compute we can so easier and more locally monitoring of input property using the effect instead of the ng on change we saw in the last exercise also we can use the effect and there we can monitor means we can write down console or we can call some service call also over there right so guys these are the feature or benefit of the input signal property angular output emitter if i selected any movie the child component sent to data to the parent component as we know that in the normal way also if we can send data from the child to parent we can emit the data so this is the source code of it this is child component this is the event when i selection a movie then i'm calling this functions and i'm simply emitting it over here through the output emitter so as we have the earlier version also angular this is the same thing right now this output event we will receive into the parent over here so this is the functions this is the event handler in this event handler we will get the movie and this movie data will display over here so this is normal output means emitter now we need to convert this one into signal so in the child component commenting the existing one and over here we'll write down output so guys this output is smaller editor. remember this one for type we can write down movie and this is a function over here. So this is a signal type of functions. We have output emitter reference. So this is now signal property, but still it can emit it also. Same property, but we had it also. Now let's test it. Now when I selections, I'm still getting the value. Oh, that's great. Now what else we can do? 
over here guys if i need to change this name so in the parent component i wanted to be accessed with the different name in the child component i wanted to use the different variable name so i can write down ls is over here i can give some name suppose over here we are writing down movie clip this movie clip i need to refer into the parent component and this is should be there one more thing guys we can use the effect also if i need to continuously send this emit value to the parent component so whenever any signal will be changed so effect will be checking the signal value and continuously they are sending to message to the parent component so how uh, we can use it so we need to make a constructor inside and we can write down effect effect is a having the callback functions over here we can write down some logic if you wanted to send it some emit value suppose i wanted to be emit this value definitely i need to pass some movie or some default movie also that thing also can possible so why output is actually better to fit your application guys the api is a conceptual aligned with the new functionality api for signal input queries and modal modal we will cover into the next video guys we have the simplified the api and remove the complexity that isn't relevant for the output in angular output type safety is improved earlier we have there is a, some gap in the actually event emitter type safety so now they have the much improved much simplicity that's it guys so this is all about the input and output property of the angular signal thanks for watching the video guys please like and subscribe if you feel this video content is helpful for you see you in the next video thank you guys